What's up YouTube? On this episode of the Daily Bespoke Edge, we are talking about how to keep your collar looking nice and neat when you're wearing a jacket. All right guys, so the idea for this video happened really this morning when I was going out for a coffee meeting and I was gonna go open collar, you know, I throw on the sport coat and I kind of have a pair of jeans on, kind of going a little casual and I'm just gonna wear an open collar look on my uh, dress shirt here. Simple white shirt, very business. It was a business meeting of another uh, business owner and so very basic. And something happened that happens a lot with a handful of the shirts that I own personally. And that is what I'll show you in a second. We're kind of going in reverse here. But the collar point just uh, went haywire. It did not sit inside the uh, jacket collar and it was really, really difficult to make it to look good and to keep it where it should be. So I put on a tie. You don't see me wearing ties too, too often, but it had a tendency to really just zip everything up and keep it together. And that's something that we kind of forget, I think, when you're wearing a necktie, it's not just a little bit more dressy. It's not just kind of a more traditional look. It's not just a way to be more formal and dressed up. It has a function too. And that function is oftentimes to keep your dress shirt collar right where it needs to be. So what does that mean? When you're buttoning it up all the way, of course that keeps the shirt together, but a necktie adds some structure to the whole look. And so it keeps your collar nice and firm, nice and uh, rigid and robust. And when you're wearing a suit jacket or a sport coat or a blazer or whatever, it keeps everything with that shirt collar right where it needs to be nice and tight against the neckline. And it's not going to let your shirt collar kind of go crazy and the collar points to come out and over the jacket, for instance, uh, whether the points here or anywhere else, it just kind of zips everything up. Does that make sense? So that's why I put on the necktie because this particular dress shirt did not really have the structure on its own to hold up to the weight of the jacket collar and needed a little bit of extra help. So what does it look like when you don't have the necktie? In other words, what happened to me this morning when I put on this shirt and this jacket and prompted the whole video and me wearing a necktie in the first place. Let me show you. Okay, we're back and I am now no longer wearing the necktie. And this is kind of the, you know, on the one hand, much more of a common look for me personally where I unbutton the collar a little bit. I'm not wearing a necktie. I'm kind of doing it more casual. Uh, it's kind of much more my go-to look. But this particular dress shirt you may notice already doesn't quite look as, uh, as formal and, and dressed up as the previous look with a necktie. So what's happening, this, the shirt collar, it's not because the shirt doesn't fit, of course, it's just because of the fabric and the way it's been pressed and it's just not laying down how I really would want it to. So you can kind of see the shirt collar is a little, little up and it's even on the back here, it's a little high. And what has a tendency to happen if I'm moving around my day and, you know, and reaching and, and or driving and doing different things, it's moving around a little bit and it's definitely kind of floating and the peaks are, or the, the peaks, excuse me, the collar points of the shirt are kind of up and over the lapel collar. They're just doing their own thing. And maybe that's what you want. Maybe that's the look that you're going for. Totally cool. For me personally, I prefer them to be much more kind of nice and neat and inside the jacket, which when things are where they ought to be, feels pretty good and I think is a great look. But the problem is with this particular shirt, partly because of the fabric, it's just not a real a robust fabric on its own. It has a tendency to kind of migrate and just find its own way out. And that's something that I don't personally like for my own look. So kind of an example of, um, you know, neckties, we don't see them as often as we once did. They don't have the, uh, the th authority that they once did in the years past, uh, but they do serve a very functional purpose. And that is to kind of zip everything up, keep the collar point together, and um, you know, keep the, the collar just looking good on its own so that it can kind of withstand the weight and the, uh, the impact of having a suit jacket on. Does that make sense? Hope that helped. Uh, it kind of shed a little light. I think that a lot of guys don't really understand on the practical aspects of having a necktie and wearing it out and about. Um, what do you guys think? Are you, um, do you ever notice that with your shirt color when you're not wearing a necktie and you are wearing a suit and it's kind of you know floating, so to speak, and um, not looking as ni nice and neat and uh, tidy as maybe you'd want it to? Love your opinion on the topic. 
uh, more videos coming very shortly. And as always, we really, really appreciate your attention, guys. It means a lot to us. And don't forget, we do have an Alexa skill. If you by chance have an Amazon Alexa enabled device, just search style or daily style tip and you'll find the bespoke edge daily tip. Thanks for your attention guys and we will see you soon.